What's going on guys? Appreciate you guys being here as always. I am super excited about this product that came in. Uh, gonna go through a full review on this today. No cooking at this time right now on this or no smoking on this right now. But this is the new portable smoker made by the company called A Smoke. For me and my family, we do a ton of camping. Uh, we have a tra travel trailer that we pull behind the truck and do a ton of camping for my daughter's softball every year. And also, this is something that I would use out in the field. This would have been great whenever I went out west to Colorado last year to hunt elk. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna power this today, which is also pretty cool. It just shows that you don't have to be around the house or you don't have to be around a full electrical supply to run this thing. Uh, but wanna thank the company A Smoke for sending this thing out. Been super excited to get this thing up and going. And today I'm just gonna give you guys kind of a rundown of all the features on this thing. We're gonna do the initial uh, smoke in or the initial burn in on it. And uh, in the future, there's definitely gonna be some cooking videos coming up, showing you guys maybe some uh, back straps about a deer that I've killed, smoke those up for you. But this is not a cooking channel, but I definitely wanna show you guys how this thing works in its full potential. And uh, I'm gonna use it myself a little bit before I show you guys you know, me smoking some, some meats on it for the family. But uh, but you can see here kind of how it comes. Uh, it's got a very detailed, very nice layout on the box. A lot of information. Kind of show you guys the sides of it there. Throw this out of the way. Of course, comes with a very thorough, very detailed uh, instruction manual. It's been very handy. And just wanted to tell you guys this is assembled. The only thing you really have to do whenever you get this out of the box from the factory is you need to put on this front handle right here. Very simple, two screws, and each of the four legs you have to put on yourself. Uh, they do that just so they can pack it down into a smaller box. Doesn't take up as much room that way. Uh, of course, comes with a nice uh, rain cover. So this will be real handy like times when I've been out hunting or just when we're camping, even if it's not raining on those hot days, hot nights. Um, typically always wake up to some dew on the ground, so it'd be nice just to cover this and not have to worry about putting it back in the back of the truck with the, the cover on the back of the truck. Uh, you can just throw this on it, go to bed, and not have to worry about it uh, getting, getting wet. You can see there's got the brand name on the top. Pretty nice, pretty nice cover. It's got a little spot here on the back. Or you can throw in some, I don't know, put the power cord in there, throw in some uh, utensils, um, whatever you need to. Put this down for now. Just gonna go through and show you guys what the inside looks like here before we do the initial burn off. Just very well put together. Right here's your hopper. You throw your pellets in. Auger is down in here, feeds through to the fire pit. Get a nice little drip tray, drip port right here. Very easy to take that off and just dump out whenever you need to. Right here's your full control panel. I'll show that to you whenever we get this plugged in. Right there's your temp probe. See back here's a fan, keep everything cool. Power cord does pull out, makes it easy to transport. Don't have to worry about bending and breaking the power cord. I got the pine green version, which I really like. Uh, comes in black, the green, blue, and red. All right, now we're gonna get ready for the initial hopper priming. What you do, just open it up, make sure there's no you know, cardboard, anything left from shipping, packaging. Remove all the components from the inside. This right here is really neat. This is how you control your direct and indirect heat. Just slide this. You can see the heat comes through these. Take this out. One thing I want to note, whenever you're assembling this, this is just laying in the box whenever you get it, you'll see this notch right here. This goes on this tab right here, so that makes it real easy. So right down here is where all the uh, pellets go. 
whenever they're ran through the auger right here into your fire pit. So now what I'm gonna do, I've verified that there's nothing down here in the bottom. Now I'm gonna get this hooked up to, this is the Paxis Rockman 300 uh, portable power bank. Like I mentioned, I'm gonna do a review on this in the future, but I'll get this hooked up and I'll show you guys what that looks like. Also tells you to put your hand above the fire pot. See if you can feel air coming out, which I definitely can. So all is good there. Then you just wait about a minute, it says, and you should be able to smell the igniter igniting. And then you wanna make sure that there's heat coming out. And once you feel that, then you'll turn this off. We're gonna put all this back in, and then we're gonna do the burn off. And the burn off's just getting rid of, you know, all the chemicals maybe that are on it. Uh, from the factory, you know, from the production of the unit, uh, any packaging that might be left in, just so it doesn't contaminate your food. Show you here that this is raising up to 58, 59. Over here on the portable power station, uh, we're drawing about 100. And, uh, it depends. It kicks back and forth, maybe to 165, bounces up to 176. Really nice read out there on that portable power station. Definitely have some heat coming out there. So what I'll do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put some pellets in the hopper bin. All right, the priming is complete. The auger is turning, dropping in some pellets into the fire pot. Now we'll go ahead and proceed to the initial grill burn off. So once you get it primed, find out that your pellets are dropping in, go ahead and turn this back to off. And then we'll put our components back in. And then we'll get ready and do this initial burn off. The priming is something you need to do uh, each time that your auger runs out of pellets. But this burn off that we're getting ready to do here is just something you have to do whenever you first got it from the factory, whenever you first purchased the unit. So we got it all back together. Everything's in there good to go. We'll close this. The instructions say to do the initial burn off anywhere between 175 and 350 degrees. So we're just going to take our control here and we'll just go up to 300 degrees. You can see there it says 300 degrees set. Really nice display there. And once you get your meat in there, you would actually, you know, of course, hook this up, plug your probe in to the unit down here and then stick your meat probe into the meat and close your door. Pretty awesome setup. Got our power bank over here running, drawing about 165 watts. And we'll do this for 30 minutes and we'll be good to go. So we've got everything running here, doing our initial burn off on the A Smoke portable smoker. Can't wait to put this thing to use, get this thing burned off get some meat in here and I'll make sure in the future of course to do a full cook you know show you guys some uh, ribs or pork shoulder pork loin whatever it might be but just super excited to use this thing you can see you can take this out camp them with you this is all you need you can run this at your campsite with the electric cord just plug it into your 110 out outlet you don't need this this just makes it more handy more portable uh, use it out in the bush a lot easier. This thing weighs 42 pounds, so it's really easy to transport, carry around, doesn't take up a whole lot of space. Uh, gonna be a very good unit for me and our family, I think, for camping trips, and then also me using it on hunting trips as well. So I'm gonna make sure and link this product down below. You guys can go directly there, take a look at it, see if you wanna purchase it or not. I wanna thank the company A Smoke for sending this out and I'll be sure to do a follow-up video doing a full cook on this so you guys can see how it performs. But I know it's going to be awesome. 
and uh, really looking forward to it. So appreciate you guys being here. Any questions at all, make sure and comment down below and uh, make sure and like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next one and appreciate you guys being here. Happy hunting. Be safe. See ya. Bye.